Today we're going to learn about metric prefixes. When you buy a new electronic gadget, it might specify its height, width, and depth in millimeters. It might specify its storage capacity in gigabytes, its frequency response in kilohertz, and the videos that it can play in megabits per second. The milli, giga, kilo, mega all represent standard metric prefixes that we'll be using this year. Okay, let me show you how to write your numbers in different formats with engineering notation being the most important because that's the one that's going to allow us to attach a metric prefix. Okay, so for instance, you'll see that we have a number of 5 million and there's four different ways of writing it. The normal notation uses commas and decimal points. The scientific method uses 10 to some power. The E notation takes that 10 to some power and replaces it with just an E. And the um, engineering notation uses E notation, but the power has to be divisible by 3. Okay, so we have 5 million, which is written as 5.0 times 10 to the 6, because we have to move the decimal point 6 places in order to get a number here that's between 1 and 10. With E notation, we replace the 10 with an E, so it's 5 E to the 6th. And since 6 is divisible by 3, in engineering notation, it's the same thing, 5, E, 6. Okay, with normal notation, 14 million is written as 14, comma, 3 zeros, comma, 3 more zeros. Scientifically, it's 1.4 times 10 to the 7th, because we had to move our decimal point over 7 places. With E notation, we just write as 1.4 E to the 7th. And because 7th is not divisible by 3, we have to lower the power by one spot. That takes us e to the 6. And since we lower it one spot, we have to move the decimal point one spot over for this 1.4. So it becomes bigger. It becomes 14 e to the 6. Notice the number in front of the e gets bigger. The number after the e gets smaller. Okay, when you have numbers that start out small, like 0 0.0045, your exponent is going to be negative. So in this case, it's 4.5 e times 10 to the negative 3. We had to move the decimal point over three spots. So it's 4.5 e to the negative third, and in E notation, it's 4.5 e to the negative third. Negative third is divisible by 3. Okay, this one's a little harder, so we move over five times and we get 3.2 times 10 to the negative 5. In E notation, 3.2 e to the negative 5th. And since e to the negative 5th is not divisible by 3, we lower it until it is divisible by 3. And that would mean e to the negative 6. We'd have 32 e to the negative 6. We dropped our power one place from negative 5 to negative 6 which means we had to move this over one place and make it bigger. So we had 32 e negative 6. Okay, once we are in engineering notation, then we can attach a metric prefix. So you should know your metric prefixes. There's eight really important ones. They're tera, giga, mega, kilo, milli, micro, nano, pico. Tera means trillion, giga, billion, mega, million, kilo thousand. These are for smaller numbers. Milli is one one thousandth, one one millionth, one billionth, and one trillionth. Okay, so for example, you could have a two terabyte hard drive, a three gigahertz processor, a one megawatt power plant, or a five kilometer run. You could have 25 milliliters of water. You can have five micrograms of aspirin. You could have 12 nanometers as the size of a circuit on a chip. You could have one picocoulomb of charge. Notice that these prefixes can be attached to any unit, and that is their true power. They could be used in many different circumstances. So you want to learn these eight. Okay, so here's an example using the numbers we used before. We would take 5 e to the 6, which is 5 million, and we write it as 5 mega, capital M. 14 million would be 14, capital M, 14 mega. This one, 
4.5 e negative third, that is a thousandth, so that would be milli. And this one is negative six, that's a millionth, so that would be micro. Let's see how this is going to work out. So first thing you want to do is, let's say you have a number like 5.7 e to the negative fourth. You want to place it on this uh, chart, and it would fall somewhere between e to the sixth and e to the third. You always want to drop down to the lower number. So you'd have to drop it one spot. So this would have to get bigger by one spot. So that would be 57 e to the third, 57 kilo. Okay, then you take your next one. This would fall between, between 12 and 9. You would have to drop it one spot to get it to 9. So it would be 67 e9, 67 giga. Okay, then you'd have something like this, e to the 8th, that would be somewhere between the 9 and the 6. You have to drop it down two spots to get to 6, so you move this over two spots. 230 e to the 6th. With the negative numbers, you've got to be a little more careful. Negative 4 falls between negative 3 and negative 6. You want to drop it down to the lower one, so this would go to e to the minus 6. You're dropping it two spots, so it's 570 micro. Okay, negative tenth would go between negative 9 and negative 12. You drop it down two spots, it becomes pico. It would be 670 pico. Negative 8 falls between negative 6 and negative 9. You'd have to drop it one spot, so this would become 23 nano. Hopefully you understood this, but to show me that you did, what I'd like you to do is pause the video now. Take the time to fill out this chart and see if you can write these numbers with engineering notation and with a prefix. So pause it. When you're done the chart, start playing again. Okay, these are what your answers should look like. If you are able to successfully get these answers, you're in great shape. If not, you should seek out more help from your teacher and tell them exactly which ones you got wrong so they can help you with them.